<sighs> this is no good. What's with the sudden morning assembly? I bet it's about that girl that jumped the other day. They don't have to tell us not to commit suicide. There was that weird calling card too, so I guess the teachers are freaking out. We're lucky that morning practice got canceled though. I feel like I'm gonna faint if this takes forever. <sighs> Let's begin this school-wide morning assembly. As you all know, a tragic event took place the other day. Thankfully, we have been informed that she has pulled through, but it will take time until she recovers. Everyone here has a bright future ahead. I implore that you rethink the importance of life and... <laughs> Mr. Kamashita, what's the... I... have been reborn. That is why... I will confess everything to you all. Huh? What's wrong with Mr. Komushita? What's this about? Confess? Did the volleyball team do something? I have repeatedly done things that were unbecoming of a teacher. Verbally abusing students, physically abusing my team, and sexually harassing female students. I am the reason why Shio Suzui tried to kill herself. Sexual harassment? What? Why would he oh, say that uh, himself? He is the team? worst. Really? Physical abuse? I thought of the school as my own castle. There were even students that I sentenced to expulsion. Simply because I didn't like them. I will, of course, rescind those. I am truly sorry for putting innocent youths through such horrible acts. I am an arrogant, shallow, and shameful person. No, I'm worse than that. I will take responsibility. I kill myself for it. What? Did he just say that? He would kill himself? Mr. Kamoshida is, uh, not well. Mr. Kamoshida, please died. get off the stage for now. Everyone, return to your classes. I... Don't run, you bastard! Shio's still alive, even after all the things that made her want to die. You have no right to run from this! You're right. You're absolutely right. I should be punished under the law and atone for my crimes. I did horrible things to Takamaki-san as well. In return for giving Suzui-san a position on the team, I... I tried to force her into having relations. Disgusting. Ugh, for a position on the team? I feel so That's bad horrible. for Takamaki-san. The rumors were true. As of today, I will resign from my position as an instructor and turn myself in. <laughs> Someone please call the police! The police? Is he for real? He's gonna get wow. arrested? This morning's assembly is over! Return to your classes immediately! Isn't this just like what that calling card said? Does this mean the Phantom Thieves thing was for real? Was something done to Kamoshida? Come on, there's no way you could steal someone's heart. But why else would he start saying things like he'll kill himself or turn himself in? Maybe because it almost got leaked? Don't they go easier on you if you turn yourself in? I wonder what happened. Who knows? <laughs> but man, Kamashita turned out to be one sick bastard. Hey, is this for real? He's turning himself in just like that? What's going to happen this to the followers? This makes no sense. Will show up this now. is gonna be a big... Return to your classrooms at once! His heart really did change. Seems like it. But was this really for the best? Yeah, 
It's gotta be. But things are happening way too fast. Huh? What the? Takamaki-san, I'm sorry. Huh? We all knew, but we pretended we didn't. Takamaki-san, I had you all wrong. I'm sorry that I spread rumors about you. I didn't know at all. Oh, Kamashita was forcefully pushing himself on you. It must have been so hard for you. I'm sure there's a ton of people who want to apologize to you. We're so sorry. No, it's okay. The same goes for me, too. Besides, that's all in the past now. Hey, you there! Return to class at once! Well, see you later then. I can't apologize enough for what I did to you. I swear I'll make it up to you someday. Looks like Kamoshida ain't the only one that had a change of heart. Man, I'm glad for you. Looks like those weird rumors are gonna go away. My thing doesn't really matter. We made Kamoshida apologize about Shiho. That's more than enough for me. You should hurry and tell her about it then. Yeah. I totally freaked out. He really did have a change of heart. And we were lucky his mind didn't get messed up either. <laughs> this was an A-plus job. Does this mean that they won't have a mental shutdown even if their palace disappears? I see. So we need to persuade the shadow without killing it, and then send it back to its real self. Our targets won't undergo a cognitive collapse if we do that. So we can get him to confess with no bad stuff? Hey, that works for me. Do you have to be so loud? Eh, don't worry about it. So, how'd it go? With Shiho, I mean. She's regained consciousness. For real? It was only for a little bit, but I got to talk to her. I was able to tell her that Kamoshida admitted to what he did. Shiho, she... She told me she was sorry. Looks like she found out that I was flirting with Kamoshida for her sake. And here I was, wanting to apologize to her. Kamoshida's at fault for all this. I know. Shiho's mom is thinking of transferring her to another school after she recovers. The whole sexual harassment and attempted suicide, people will label her after that. Sounded like Shiho had the same idea, too. Ah, it's gonna get lonely. But I think it's for the best. I'm sure it'll be hard if she stays here. She's alive. You can see her anytime. I need to change, too. That aside, I was surprised you could hold yourself back against Kamoshida's shadow. It wasn't like that. I just wanted Kamoshida to apologize himself. You're so kind, Lady On. No matter how much of a shitbag he was, finishing him off would have left a bad aftertaste, huh? Huh? That's not it. I think revenge is better served if I make him repent. Realizing what he's done, he'll grovel for forgiveness the rest of his life. You know? I just believe there are fates worse than death. Holy shit. Uh, anyways, that's all settled. But, you know, there was one more thing I was wondering about that castle. Why was Kamoshida the only one who had that metaverse thing? It isn't necessarily limited to him. It's something anyone could have, if their heart became warped from their desires. Anyone? Wanna check it out? Not right now. We better lay low for a while. People are still gonna be talking about Kamoshida. Then again, it's totally impossible for someone to find out what we did at his palace. Yeah, about that, weird rumors about you guys are already going around. Stuff like you got together and threatened Kamoshida with something close to physical violence. The hell? People aren't going to easily believe that phantom thieves really exist. Calling cards being treated like it was a prank by someone who knew what Kamoshida was doing. 
Hmm. Makes sense. We're the ones who did it, and I still don't completely believe it myself. <laughs> let's wait for things to settle down for the time being. Anyways, let's check how much this metal can be sold for. It'd be better if we pawned it off ASAP. Ooh, got a hit! Wait, 30,000 yen? That's all a gold medal's worth? Remember that time in middle school? I lent you some money. There's no way I borrowed 30,000 yen from you. Wouldn't it be around that much with compounded interest? Interest my ass? I'm not saying that I'm taking all of it. I mean, it's your fault for not paying me back all these years. It's just common sense. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I agree on laying low and keeping an eye on the situation. However, you dragged me into this. It would be nonsense not to celebrate a successful mission. I guess we could blow this dirty money on something fun. Discussions among phantom thieves are to take place over luxurious food. How about it? Hey, wait! Ah, uh, I guess it's fine. There's somewhere I want to go then. Where's that? It's a place Shiho and I have been wanting to go for a while. I owe money, so I can't complain. You good with that? I'll leave it to your discretion as well, Lady On. I'll call and check the prices later, then. When should we go? Want to do it soon? Like, tomorrow? Why don't we go on the last day of the holidays? It'll help energize us when school life starts up again the day after. Then, uh, the 5th. On Children's Day. So, who's going to sell this? Leave that to us. We know a store that'll buy anything, don't we? Okay, I'll leave that to you guys. Ah, you're back. I don't think that's it. Welcome back to my Let's Play of a Persona 5 New Game Plus. And now that we've hit the start of the story section that sort of links everything that we've done so far with what's coming up next, we've really seen the majority, or sort of like the pattern for the majority of the game. Hey, hey. We have, you know, we have, we have, and we've made it through the large, largely we've made it through the tutorial section of the game. And that's not to say that there aren't future tutorials, because there are obviously little bits within each palace that are introduced, there are still lots of new ideas that are still floating about, um, that we'll definitely come to at a later point. But right now, what we have is, we've made very good progress through this first it really is a tutorial car, a tutorial palace for the game. And it gives you an illustration as to what the game is going to be moving onwards. There are periods of heavy story, usually compounded together, usually you get a lot of story in a row. And then afterwards you get an area, <clears throat> you know, you'll be introduced to that area, you know, to the next palace in the story. And then you're given a wide space of time where you have the freedom to interact with your confidants, to build up your social skills, and to go into the palace or go into mementos and, you know, complete that sort of aspect right, of the game as well. And that's what we're going to be doing for the next part. So we've got, we've hit the story again. There's going to be a little bit more sort of story focus across the next few days. We also have the exams right. coming up and I'll talk about that pretty soon. And I hope you're looking forward to it. I will see you on the next few episodes.